Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2. Today we're back in Arcala after our fantastic live stream and, uh, that we did a couple of days ago on Thursday. And we're going to be driving another Trent Barton livery. I just think it fits this map so well. Uh, I know that obviously it's not set in Trent Barton land, is it, at all? But uh, yeah, it fits this map so well. The different colours, I think, running up and down. I'll probably actually get a couple of these done in the AI list, to be honest with you, because uh, they, they just look brilliant, don't they? I'd, I've always been a fan of Trent Barton and uh, the different liveries, but also the fact that they tend to stick to the livery. Uh, on the route, you don't tend to see the, you know, on the wrong route often. Uh, they do have a couple of those spares vehicles uh, running round. But uh, yeah, they tend to stick to the route branding. We've got a lovely uh, purple headdress rather than the yellow interior uh, that we were on the Villager. And uh, yeah, everything's pretty peachy. I've also fixed since the last episode the anti-aliasing. You'll notice there's no ugly uh, little little bits on there. So Omsi does generally look a lot better. And we need to revisit Arcala because uh, I was told off by Fully after the live stream. I'm always getting told off by Fully. But uh, yeah, my Omsi settings weren't particularly high. Uh, they weren't on the max settings. They were like the next one down from max settings um, in terms of the, you know, how pretty it looks, how many objects there are, etc. I was told off there was missing objects uh, due to the fact that my Omsi wasn't set to the highest settings. He says, no wonder your frame rate was so high. Uh, which is a valid point. So I thought I'd turn those settings up and we would have a run uh, down back into Stockton Road just to see how the frame rates cope on max settings. Now again, I've got no AI uh, on this because I've still not managed to fix the, uh, the, 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 the thing. There we go, let's have a bit of Arcala 63 on the front. Yeah, I've still not managed to fix the uh, the problem that we're having with the AI. Uh, again, I don't know if that's anything that I can fix. That might be next time that we have to fix it. Are you lot getting on? Oops, panicking. Hell. 52. Might be because they're waiting for a different bus. Uh, right, hang on. 3922. Lovely. I'm hoping I can actually run on time as well today. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Right, are you. Uh, is anybody coming? No, what I might do before we go. Uh, we're also using the Enhanced Environment Pack, uh, which is available on the Steam Store. Why would you take a screenshot of that? There we go. Try again. Without a car in the way. So what we're going to do, obviously this is where the short journeys terminate, but maybe they're not waiting for me. So we're going to go. We're just going to nip off. Uh, we're following the 63 again, which is the same route that we drove out last time. And uh, we're using the Master Switch Veiling. Again, link in the description to that. There's a link to the delivery. The description is basically links of where you can find things. The only thing that you can't find in the description is a link to the Arcala Beta because it's not out. And uh, yeah, fully really would kill me if, uh, if, I, if I put a link to that. Yeah, I wouldn't be getting any more betas, let's put it that way. So uh, yeah, no link to it yet because it's not out. Uh, I don't have a release date, so people like to ask. I, I don't get told these things. I think fully's got a release date in mind. Uh, but I, I don't get to find out such things. Yeah, the enhanced environment pack. We're using cloudy summer's day uh, as the as the sort of theme in here, which uh, I wouldn't say I feel particularly summery playing this. It's not particularly cloudy. It's sort of. I mean, I'm looking out the window now. Where I am, we've not had a lot of snow. Obviously, the the, the UK has been swept by snow. And uh, we've not we've not really had any. We've had a little bit, a smattering, if you will, but uh, yeah, we've we've not really had any at all. So uh, yeah, I, I didn't think we could play with the snow. To be honest with you, I was going to use like a really snowy, really snowy scene, but uh, we've not had any. I don't know about Birmingham, of course, where this is set. I keep saying it's set in Birmingham. There are features of Birmingham. Doesn't necessarily mean it's set there. There you go. Uh, oh. return, please. God, what's all this? All this change. I suppose it's better than paying for a two pound fifty oh, fare with a twenty pound note. There we go. Go on, go and sit down. Thank we'll return you. Return there, please. Joy rider, love. That'll do. Are we ready to go? I'm gonna set off a little bit early. Oh, hang on. Where are we? Oh, I didn't get the beep when uh, I took the handbrake off. That's unusual. 
I'm going to set off a little bit earlier, and uh, and the reason I say that is because we ended up running so late last time, didn't we? On uh, on the the full run, we were like eight minutes late, seven eight minutes late into our destination. So I thought we'd uh, we'd just get ahead of the game a little bit there. And we're using the Euro 4 spec of the Master Switch because uh, they do have Euro 4 eclipses in uh, Trent Barton land. I don't believe that Eclipse 2's run this. I think they've got rid of most of the Solars now from uh, from what people were saying in the live stream. It's a shame, isn't it? I mean, I always prefer a Volvo anyway. I wonder what made them make the leap from, uh, from Scania over to Volvo. There must have been something. Because Trent Barton didn't have any of the, uh, the Euro 3 B7 RLEs. Single, please. They had the uh, the Scania L94UB, and then all of a sudden, instead of ordering the K230UB Scania, they've uh, they had a load of a load of Euro 4B7s. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a weird one. I wonder what uh, maybe there was a change in management. A manager arrived who didn't like Scania and loved Volvos. Just never know, do you? But uh, oh no, more sirens. There's forever emergencies happening in this city. I, mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but it does seem that uh, timing is a little bit better on the shorter runs. I don't know why I struggled so much last time. I think maybe on the 63 going towards uh, Pendle, it's just a little bit tight for timing, isn't it? But yeah, it seems a lot better on this one. Don't need to whiz around quite so much. They're always fuming when a single decker turns up, clearly, aren't they? Can I have a return ticket, please, driver? Lovely, there we go. I mean, to be fair, even with all the settings turned up, frame rates wise, we're, we're absolutely fine. I think the main frame rate killer on this, and uh, and I said it before on uh, on the stream, the main frame rate killer is absolutely. It has to be the AI traffic, doesn't it? There's such a variety in AI traffic, such a variety in liveries as well. Um, it's absolutely got to be that, because with no AI traffic on it, it's smooth as anything. And that might not just be for our car, that might be for most OMSI maps. If you've got loads of AI. Expect your uh, your frame rates to plummet. It's a wonder that like I suppose it, it sort of takes away from the fact like on all OMSI maps you could just click a bus and take it over. What this map might really benefit from with the sheer amount of AI is uh, you know like low poly AI only vehicles. I don't know if that's in the works. Um, I, I, hang on, now that I'm saying it, I might have heard something about that. But like yeah, not low poly as in you'll drive past it and think oh that's an absolute state. But you know like it might not have such a high poly interior. You know that that they can cut corners on the frame rate that way in order to reduce the the overall. You know what I know what I'm trying to say. It's just not coming out particularly well. But um, yeah, this map might really benefit from that because you don't want to reduce the AI because when you get into Arcala City Centre, it's fantastic seeing all the buses. You know, in the different liveries, all weaving in and out and going different places. It's brilliant, and that's what I love about this map. Um, you really do feel that you're part of a massive bus network, albeit we've only got the 63 and 64 to drive at this precise moment in Greenwich Mean Time, but uh, yeah, the, you know that you really do feel like you're part of a big network, so I would never want for, oh hang on, what's going on here, I, I could have pulled into that bus stop sir, you didn't need to walk into the road. Alright, return ticket please. You know, I would never want for, uh, for all the AI Jeez. to be taken out, so that might be a good way to go. I do need to sort of work on trying to come up with a solution to fix the AI, don't I? Because uh, I, I do miss it. I like seeing all the buses whizzing round. It's nice. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. What's happening here? Oh, there's a few getting on here, aren't we? Where are we? Reed Cliff Road. We must have all been to PC Express. Oh, Mr. Scissors. Hello, driver. Can I have a day rider, please? Excuse me, duck. Would oh, no, I it's a uh, single, please? Uh, a day rider, please. Can I have a day pass, please, driver? May I have a single, please? Going down to Reedcliff Station now, if memory serves me right, aren't we? Is this the road down there? Is this the funky little roundabout? Oh, I do love this map. I really do love this map. Have I mentioned that? Right, hang on, so we're going to go around here. We're going to go off here. And I am going to pause that and get a nice shot of this. Oh, it's such a pretty livery, isn't it? We're going to just get a shot there where the... No, we're not going to get a shot there. We'll, we'll get a shot in the station. Because that little bit where the, the tiles, the, uh, the the road sort of changes from one little piece to another. There was a bit of an odd oddity in the shadow, shall we say. Right, there we go. So we'll get one coming round here. Because I think that's a shot that you would get as a... You know, if you were spotting buses, you perhaps get that shot. That's lovely. Oh, there's always railings in the way, isn't there? No matter where you go, if you're off for a, a bus photographing session, you can guarantee there'll be some railings in the way. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, there's nobody getting on to go towards our car. Right, okay. That'll do me. Pointless coming into the station. Nobody getting on, nobody getting off. We're going for it. We've committed. So you can sort of break this route into chunks, can't you? You've got the uh, the section from Oxenden down towards Reedcliffe Station, and now we've got the little section between here and the hospital, and then you've got the section between the hospital and uh, and the main bit of town. Here, Ida, Hiya. Cheers, me duck. Single, please. Full steam ahead. Come on. Come on, bus. Oh, I mentioned in the stream, but those sounds are just brilliant, aren't they? Oh, hang on. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, sometimes the, uh, the directional arrows can be quite difficult to see if you're not fully paying attention. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely the hospital area, isn't it? We're, uh, we've got the learning hub up there. There's some other sort of bit of Idea. hospital here. Because he he obviously on this one we come in from the other side of the hospital, don't we? Because the 64, you, you do a little loop round and come back again. Whereas on this we uh, we, we go out the other side. Hello, that might not make a lot of sense. It's it's one of those, again, I, I know what I'm trying to say. I'm just not saying it particularly well. So we have to go, we have to go round the loop and back again on this one. Doing well for timekeeping. I'm uh, I'm very impressed with our timekeeping today. I 
I'm hoping you're enjoying the additional uh, the additional objects as well. I'm not sure, like, it's one of those things, isn't it? Obviously, because fully made the map, he knows which bits are missing. Because, you know, he, he put each individual piece on this map. Obviously, because I didn't make the map. And I'm paying attention to driving. And also trying to sort of make some sort of interesting comment at the same time while doing so. Uh, the, there are bits on this that, I, I, I mean, like, it's... When you turn it right up to the max settings, is it little things like railings, the odd road sign, things like that, that aren't quite right next to the map? Is that the sort of thing that you get? I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, there'll be things that I just haven't noticed here. It still looks fantastic, and to be fair, in the last video, uh, the live stream we did, I thought it looked absolutely incredible. This woman's going to cross, isn't she? Oh no, pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, I thought it looked absolutely incredible. Uh, we'll just take that a bit wider so we don't clout the curb. That'll do. Which one's this? Towards Arcala, away from Arcala. Morning. Can I have a return, please? Oh, give us a single. Right, they were waiting uh, at the wrong bus two. stop, weren't they? They were on a two way to near, and all, all of a sudden this lot have appeared. Could you not decide whether you wanted to go into town or out of town, love? Ah, it doesn't matter. Bang on time, that'll do. Bang on time every time, apart from all the times we're not on time. not phased is she right eclipse 2 hurtling towards her at a great rate of knots and she's she's just not bothered she's i know you're gonna wait for me this is ever crossing you have to wait for me oh you're going that way right okie dokie a little bit of indication a little bit sooner wouldn't have gone amiss, but there we go. The joys of driving, eh? It must be the set vars, but this particular example that we're driving of this Euro 4, usually when you pick the Euro 5, it's it's a little bit sluggish, isn't it, to be honest with you? Um, because obviously it's a Euro 5. They, they don't want it thrashy because... Uh, you know, less emissions. Ooh, sensible. Uh, but the Euro 4, you usually get quite a thrashy one. You know, when you put your foot down, it sort of makes a bit of makes a bit of racket, doesn't it? Whereas this doesn't. I don't know if the set vars, you can turn things off like kick down. I'd imagine you could. Very clever, really, isn't it? But yeah, obviously, the, the repaint that we're driving doesn't have an example of kick down. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not thrashy. You're not wanting a 63, then, right? Okay. Consider it done, madam. I think they... Do they go the same way now into town? I think they probably do. Oh, oh, you're not hanging about, are you? Right, you've just absolutely sideswiped me there. Terrible. The driving standards in this city have really gone downhill. See, I would argue that we're driving a little bit slower than we did in the live stream, yet somehow we've arrived. We're, we're doing so well for timing, aren't we? We might even have to sit at a timing point in a little bit.
Oh, give us a single. Right, see out. Two fifty. Hello, I guess you end up running really early, don't you, until uh, until you, you have much. to stop at a bus stop Give and deal with this lot. Oh, okay, still a minute early. Right, well, we're going, because you just never know what's going to happen in town. I think the timing point we're going to leave... Oh, I've committed, I'm sorry, love. See, the cars haven't got stuck there today, so that's good. Maybe it was just a little glitch last time. Uh, when the cars got stuck there. Yeah, the uh, maybe I'm so early because it's 20 down here and I'm blasting down at nearly 30. That might also have something to do with it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think the next timing point's probably going to be, uh, I don't know, that, that town square bit. City square bit. Mind you, we're running really early now, aren't we? So we might have to skip ahead with the time so we don't get told off for, uh, for being there too early. In fact, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do, isn't it? Can I have a return, please? No, oh, you can. It were a bit touching thing in me, Bob, but yeah, return, let's do it. There's no need to put your foot down so hard, you're nearly two minutes early. Take it easy, slow down. Don't sound quite as good if you don't put your foot down though, does it? Yep, yeah, we're, we're all thinking the same. Heck, it goes with the right bump, doesn't it? Oh, give us a single. Single, please. Now I can guarantee these cars aren't going to wait, are they? Oh, you're going right, are you? Well, I suppose I'd better wait for you then. Seeing as there was not a, uh, not a cat and else chance of waiting for me, I imagine on that roundabout, we'd have probably grounded this bus. It's quite a low floor bus, isn't it? Hang on, what we'll do. Skip ahead by two minutes, there we go. I know you shouldn't really skip ahead, it's a really bad habit, isn't it? But, uh... We were already about to go past the bus stop. We, And again. Low bridge. Do you think we'll make it? Just about. It's a busy bus still, isn't it? To say, uh, I've not put my lights on for everybody. My apologies. Everybody in the passenger saloon. Radisson on the left there. So this was going to be the timing point. Doing well for timing, aren't we? It's like the polar opposite. We keep running early. Whereas last time, we, we just could not catch up time, could we? Right, hang on. Which way are we going? We're going down this one. The bus gate. Yeah, I see the red light, but we committed. So this is the part where there's lots of buses about, isn't it? So, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to have to get that fixed. Maybe, I don't know, did he, did he put the Optest Solo in the AI list? Maybe the, the, the Solo... We don't even know if it's the Solo, to be fair. It was just um, when I mentioned what was happening, Fully had said, have you got the... Uh, oh, hang on. Wrong one, sorry, love. 11 quid, there we go. Fully had said, have you got the Solo, because that might be what's causing it. So we don't actually know for definite that that is what's causing it. So I keep blaming it on the uh, on the Mirage. Might not be the case. I'll have to look at what AI list, uh, what it actually demands in the AI list, because clearly I'm missing something. And of course he's planning to bring some trams to the map, which is excellent. 
I would assume based on the Birmingham tram system. What's it called? The West Midlands Metro. But we've committed. Yeah, you, you could have absolutely stopped there, Joe. Now, I think there's a bus stop down here because I missed it last time, if memory serves me right. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to be good. We're going to uh, stop at the necessary stops. Can't cross him when there's a bus hurtling towards you. These women are brave, aren't they? Return Come ticket, on, please. everybody on. A return ticket, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, a day rider, please. What about a nice little, you know, you can never, never have too many screenshots. We have to be in this lane, don't we? There we go. St. Felix's, Michigan Street and Hayden Hill. Well, I, I think that Michigan Street, because that is York Station. Well, it's not. It's Michigan Street, but uh, I thought he were going then. Flipping heck. I'm going to just stand back from the curb a little bit there, sir. Muggan Street. And of course, if you remember, the, the actual route used to terminate here, didn't it, at Jensen Hill? Do you remember, before he'd actually built the rest of the map? It seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it, that we used to terminate here and go back again? But there's nobody waiting for the bus, so we'll carry on. This is why you're running early, because you're blasting through bus stops. I reckon that that last that was walking up wanted the bus. A bit of curb. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those you can see what's going to happen before it happens. Nope. Right, hang on. Do we go in here? I think we stop on the bus stop outside. Hello, driver. Can I have a day rider, please? Can I have a return, please? It's my favourite bit return, of this map. Please. Apart from all the other bits of this map that are my favourite bits of this map, this is my favourite bit of this map. One day rider, It's one of please. many favourite bits of this map. Um, a day rider, please. Thanks very much. Single, please. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do is we're going to be really naughty because I saw a York bus driver do this. Instead of sticking to the lane, we, we just cut across and go for it. I don't know if that's naughty. Maybe you're perfectly entitled to do that, but I, ooh, I'd be too nervous. I'd stick in the lane and pull out that way. Obviously, if there were buses about here, then it would be a lot busier. It wouldn't look quite so post-apocalyptic, would it? There's, there's really not a lot of cars out. Maybe it's just a Sunday. Maybe that's it. It's early on a Sunday morning. And when I say early on a Sunday morning, I do, of course, mean 11.23. So it's not really that early, is it? But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a Sunday morning. It's nice and quiet. It's a summer's day, obviously, so it's uh, crack of dawn. Alright, return ticket please. Can I have a return ticket, lad? Right, out of York now. Of course, this bit in real life would be the river bridge, wouldn't it? But all of a sudden, we appear back in Birmingham. I say back in Birmingham, I'm assuming we're back in Birmingham. 
because a lot of these places on this map are based on real life places if you, if you didn't watch the live stream I did mention that um, you know obviously the York bit for me is brilliant because it looks like York and you're there like um, you're not gonna stop at that stop sign are you nope <laughs> no is the answer I thought we were stopping at that bus stop that was a really messy way everybody hold on oh, I thought we were gonna hit that kid for a second yeah, that was a really messy uh, turn into that, wasn't it? It's not your finest moment. This looks like a railway station. It's probably not, as this is shopping centre. It's probably called Harlow Place. Because the bus stop said, St. David's Queensway for Harlow Place. So I imagine that, uh, that that place up there that says Harlow Place on it is Harlow Place. I've said Harlow Place too many times now, it sounds weird on the tongue. No, you can always guarantee there's someone waiting to press that button. Is that my traffic light in front there? I think it is. It is. That's brilliantly placed, because obviously I probably wouldn't think to place that there, but obviously uh, with the crossing it would be quite difficult to see. This is what I really like about Fully's maps. I say maps, I've only ever played one of his maps. This map. But this is what I like about Fully's map is that he seems to put a lot more thought into it, except that traffic light on the right, that must be for the right hand lane. You know, there's a lot of thought of, oh, I'll stop here, oh, well, perhaps this is a little bit difficult. It's like this traffic light over here. All right, perhaps in real life, this is how it is. But, uh, you know, there's just a lot of thought for what would make this a little bit easier. Where might there be something in real life just to aid you with that? And and it's, it's fantastic. It really, really is. I can't wait for this map to be out for you lot to enjoy as well. I really cannot. Because and I really do think that it is... I really think you're going to enjoy it. Um, I believe that it's going to be payware. I believe. Could be mistaken. He might change his mind. He might not have made his mind up yet. Um, I would be astonished if it wasn't payware because it's payware quality. I think with Master Switch making some buses, I, I yeah, I think it's going to be payware. Um, but I honestly can't fault that, and I, I would, I, I, I think early on I, I'd said to him, look, this is payware quality. I don't know if he decided to do it as payware um, at this point. Nobody getting off, right? Okay, we'll carry on. I do sort of remember that conversation. He might remember a different variant of the conversation, but I think originally he was planning on doing it freeware, or he'd considered it and hadn't put much thought into it. And I was like, oh, this has absolutely got to be payware, because it's awesome. So, yeah, sorry, everybody, I might have ruined that for you. Um, <laughs> I d I, it might not be the case, but I'm quite happy to sit here and take credit for that one. I should charge a commission, shouldn't I? Um, but, yeah, once it's finished, it really is going to be such a good map to drive on. Apparently he's done a lot of work, somebody did say in the stream the other night, he's done a lot of work in the city centre, uh, so this should, I mean it might have completely changed, the whole road layout might have changed for all I know. It does sort of strike me as one of those, because obviously this map has been in development for a long time, it strikes me as one of those where um, there'll be a tiny little bit of road layout that'll be annoying him, so just delete the whole city centre area, right, everything in the bin. Start again from scratch. I, I, I don't really know fully that well, but from, uh, you know, it, it does strike me as that sort of person that would just bin the whole lot off. No, no, it can be better. It can be done better, and we shall do it better. So you, you can tell he's a perfectionist from, well, just from driving this map. Hey, dear. Right, well, that's enough rambling on about, uh, about fully takes up a lot of the a lot of the video time doesn't it I was going to say stream time but we're not streaming it takes up a lot of the time I hope there's no fire engineer that'd be a disaster wouldn't it but yeah there we go that is the uh, the the 63 the short version we've driven back into Arcala and uh, yeah I really do hope that you've enjoyed that if you have please do click that like button it's uh, it takes you a but a minute to do but a moment and uh, and it helps me a great deal
Do, of course, comment what you think. Do you love this map? Do you think it could do with some improvement? Do you have any suggestions for this map? Let me know in the comments, and I shall... Uh, Pass those on, pass your feedback on. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, you want to keep up with OMSI 2, maybe Arcala specifically, do remember to subscribe so you never miss out on any amazing OMSI content. I'm going to use that word amazing, because it's brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.